Just uh, about to head to the airport now. Last episode, we flew to Perth to buy a HJ47. Hello! Alright, let's go. Let's pick it up. My first glimpse of uh, 47. Hey, feeling home? What's the go, mate? We're going to take it. Yeah, we'll take it. We're driving out. And we had a sink and what the hell have we done? We just did a cold start in this sink. Um, took a bit to get it going. So we've dropped it off for brakes, tyres next. We're just going to have to sort out blinkers, really big clean, try and make it a bit more airtight, bit of daylight shine through the roof. <sighs> what have we got ourselves into? <laughs> just removed all the glow plugs um, because it's really hard to start this thing. This episode, we spend hour after hour to get her ready for the cross-country adventure. Dropped her off to the auto electrician. Uh, We're going for a trolley. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to need it. <laughs> yeah, did a heat today. Morning. <laughs> Cleaning out. <laughs> Vacuuming. This thing needs a real good clean. This thing needs a biological clean. Looks pretty big when it's empty. Yeah, it does. Yeah. <laughs> also, there's room for a spare tyre under, like a spare, the spare tyre holder as well. I thought the dual fuel tank would have taken that up, so you could have two spares on it. Oh, that's good. It's pretty cool. cool. <laughs> So we just removed all the glow plugs um, because it's really hard to start this thing. Um, I think glow plugs might be stuffed, but there's a few other little weird things going on, little gremlins, so we're just trying to figure that out now. So we just did a quick test um, just to have a look at our glow plugs. I mean, we actually sort of checked the resistance on a multimeter and they were all very consistent and they didn't have much resistance, um, you know. When they're absolutely knackered, apparently, you know, you've got heaps of resistance. So, Jeff here's just rigged up. <laughs> Very simple test just to see if it bloody actually glows. Don't do this at home, kids. Yeah, <laughs> don't do this. Start to see the glow there now. You see the glow. There it is. Wow. Very good test. Well, we know they work. <laughs> so that means they're not getting power. Well, at least we can count that out. We're just a little bit disappointed because that would have been the easy solution, just buying more glow plugs and throwing them in. But they're not getting power. So, yeah, I guess we have to walk down the line and find out why they're not getting power. Well, we thought the starter issue was glow plugs. They're fine, so it's not. So now it's all the wiring. So Matt and... Jeff are just going through and we're going to touching wires and things are starting and things are stopping and it's all a bit weird. The radio is now going. Now, because that's there to there to there, I should be able to put this fuse in and drop it on the floor. <laughs> there we go. It's a click. Shouldn't be clicking. It, eh? Sorry? It shouldn't be clicking. Or maybe it, I don't know. Did it? So I think Jeff and I just spent the best part of an hour replacing the door handle. I wish it was only an hour. Yeah, probably more. Um, it's just hard because it had a, it's, one of the components is really worn out and it just sort of caused a bit of slop in regards to the, I suppose, the placement of all the little components. And it's just slightly out of whack, so it's still not amazing to open and close, but at least we can open and close that side now. So, this is a small wind's right. What you doing there, Hole? Just 
removing these um, fishing rod holders. Yeah, we're not going to be carrying any fishing rods, so. Especially not inside the car. Especially considering I can't fish. <laughs> All right, so we're in here. I'm still cracking along with things. It's a uh, it's a funny process doing stuff like this in an old car. It's just a uh, tumultuous wave of highs and lows. Sort of get one thing sort of done and then have a step back. But no, mainly the thing that really has just put me off at this stage is the guy who sold it to us. He just oh, just told us so many lies. <laughs> about, I mean, oh, imagine that someone selling you a car telling you a lie, but. No, I just think is I wish I'd rather him just be honest to me and then we would have known the issue instead of having to try and figure it all out ourselves. Um, so, I mean, for example, it's like the starter, like the glow plugs aren't getting power. Don't know why. So we're taking it to auto electrician tomorrow, but the thing is like this fella, he had it running. Or he had it, obviously it was running for quite a while before we had got there, so it started perfectly. No worries because um, it was already hot. Um, but you know, who knows how he's been starting it. So another thing we uh, forgot to mention last night, well yesterday afternoon I noticed I had a tick on my leg. Now, we, oh, there's, there's only one place we could, oh, anyways. I had one so then Holly had a good look and she had one on her side, yeah. sort of under her arm. So we, so we both it, had ticks. Yeah, we either got it from the car or from the place where we got the car. But I think Jeff's alright, so I would assume it was probably the car. That's Might why. have been the car. Yeah, so that's today's... why we are cleaning the shit out of yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, gave <laughs> it us the heavy jeebies a bit. It was just, yeah. It's a bit off putting, but. Yeah, especially because we're meant to be sleeping in it. But. Powering through. Powering through. Yeah, we're going to be sleeping Have you told them how many times we've almost pulled the pin yet? A couple times. It's been a lot. We've been, yeah. it's, it's a roller coaster ride. Yeah. But we've just got to. Uh, Keep going. Roll you can't whinge when you buy a 38 year old car like this. Yeah. You cannot whinge. <laughs> Do never whinge. And keep feeding it money. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, yeah. cool. New interior is in. <laughs> a little bit nicer. Oh, how are you going? Yeah, a lot cleaner. Holes patching up holes. Don't worry, this is not how we're fixing rust yeah. by putting sticky tape on it. We're just. Just to stop water coming in on us if it rains at night and we're sleeping in here. Yeah, just want to make it a bit more water and air time and bug time. I'm doing a horrible job. Alright, so huge day today. I probably did some really rubbish filming. I didn't really get much. Um, it's just hard with both of us trying to do so much and trying to remember to film as well. But today, what did we get done? So we just cleaned up some of the wiring. Um, got all the blinkers working. They're all good. Um, we determined... Sorry, weird noise. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, we determined that the glow plugs are working, but they're not getting any power, so that's in the auto electrician tomorrow morning. Uh, around quarter past eight-ish, I'm taking it in. After that, I'm getting new tyres, um, which will be good. So it'll be pretty good to go. It'll be starting, stopping, good tyres. Uh, we cleaned it out today really well, put seat covers on the seat, so hopefully we don't get ticks on us anymore. Out. But yeah, it's uh, it is highs and lows this thing, lowest lows and then not highest highs yet, but we're getting there. We're getting there. Okay. okay. One of the interesting things is it was just another a scary bit. That filter it looks like it's brand new. It does, doesn't it? That scares me. <laughs> <laughs> knowing that guy. Yeah, no, no, <laughs> you probably probably didn't even have one before this. <laughs> probably just sucking. All right, start, you bastard. <laughs> oh. It sounds like the solenoid is clacking, yep. but the starter mode is not going. Like the yep. starter mode is almost like jammed. You know what I mean? Right, yep. Oh, 
I'm just gonna spray some more. her off to the auto electrician um, he's just going to check the glow plug issue for me um, starting potentially headlights pretty much everything automotive electrical designs in Perth good bunch of blokes so see how they go I suppose we'll find out the uh, how bad the wiring is in a couple of hours <laughs> all right so the electrical issues are getting sorted out in the troopy now um, so we thought we'd take the time to go do a quick Kmart run to get the Bare bones. Bare um, essentials. The for an overland essential. trip. <laughs> for an overland trip, so it's going to be, uh, yeah. Our, um, Five dollar chairs. Yeah, our hope is to do like a camping setup on a hundred bucks or under. Probably under, I reckon. Yeah. Oh, thank you. All right. Well, let's uh, go to Kmart and get our hippie supplies. Oh, for a trolley. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna need it. <laughs> Let's go. We've got chairs and cookers and pots and pans and live, laugh, love posters in frames. Oh my gosh. Can oh. I do some hair? <laughs> yes. Most definitely. <laughs> they broken and they're not even. They're <laughs> new. I think we just spend the extra two bucks and get slightly better chance. <laughs> yeah, for two bucks. We're gonna fly people like, wow. <laughs> Done. Done. Oh, we're, picking yeah, we, we're getting picky with our quilt covers now. Like, oh, but this one's ugly. This one's nice. And here we are in this friggin' ancient car. I don't even know if we can make it across it. As long as our bed looks nice. Oh, as long as we're sleeping in the shower. I don't think we need a shower. We need two. <laughs> well, we've got everything now. Slash kitchen, slash. Beautiful. How good? Atrocious at the moment. Um, oh, we went dumpster, dumpster diving yesterday. There was a council clean up, so we're just looking for a mattress. We found this really thick foam mattress, so we're going to cut the old cover off, put our own one on, vacuum it, clean it, sterilize it, get as many <laughs> human body juices Ew, off as we can. Stop it! <laughs> Thank you. 
have just upgraded. Nice upgrade. Good morning guys. So uh, we are borrowing Jeff's troopy to go and get some wood for our bed. We're getting a piece of ply for it um, and a few other things from Bunnings. Yeah, today is service day hopefully and just fixing up some loose ends, finishing the bed. Yeah, build out the back. Yeah, servicing, build out the back and hopefully there's no surprises. Last piece of the puzzle. <laughs> For now. Yeah. <laughs> Still haven't found what I'm looking for. It's just that like this very is fitting. Bunnings yeah. National like <laughs> anthem. Yeah. Excuse me, do you know where this is? <laughs> That'd be literally 99% of your job here. Just um, answering. <laughs> how many times have we asked today already where things are? This is actually really funny. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Alright. Oh. Careful. Alright, so we've dropped the oil and we've taken the filters out. Now, this vehicle has a um, pretty cool little sort of oil filter system. Um, it has one of your standard oil filters, but on top it has a, a spinner, which uses sort of centrifugal force to um, get gunk out to the side, um, sort of in the filter, anyways. Um, so I've taken it off and I'll tell you what, this thing hasn't been cleaned in a long time. You can see the build up around that edge there. You can see here where it's not that built up and then around the edge here where it's really thick. So that'll be a fun job to clean. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's uh, satisfying though. Years, years of work here. Wow, look at that. I don't think he's been doing this every time he's serviced the vehicle. I don't think so. So we're just going to check the fluids in the transfer case and the gearbox and um, see how they're doing. But we'll probably give him a bit of a top up and drain him, I'd say. But... So my job this morning is to make the slats for our bed. Um We're getting there. Our bed is in. Lucky we ended up building it off this platform because we were first thinking about building it up off here. But if we did that, if the mattress would have been sitting up here, we wouldn't be able to get in and out. So that's worked well. Got a new steering wheel cover because the current steering wheel is very thin. Get in there, we're just uh, putting a temperature gauge in because the temperature gauge doesn't work. So we just want to get something in there. So uh, we're on the nullar bore. If I can see that temperature rising, it's uh, pretty important. Made some progress today? Yeah, did a heat today. So we um, did pretty much all the oils. So we did just engine oil, filter, clean the centrifugal filter, oil filter, um, changed the fuel filters, did the fuel filter near the uh, fuel tank, which is just absolutely clogged with crap. Um, we did the diffs gearbox and transfer case um, completely drained filled with new fluids greased up all the uni joints and drive shafts and some of the steering arms holly got all the what do you do holly you tell the camera what you did the bed <laughs> all the slats the bed i think it's going to be a pretty comfortable thing to <laughs> yeah. sleep in to feel like our car starting to feel like we're really getting somewhere and feeling a bit better about it that's for sure yeah. it's running well it's running really well bed is in we're gonna have our storage underneath here. Super basic, but we're only gonna be using it for a couple of days. This is our water storage, it's about 30 liters. This is our fridge. <laughs> and yeah, we're gonna clock off for the day and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Morning. Good morning. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Finishing touches today. 
finishing touches. As Matt said, finishing touches today. I'm gonna make the bed up. Um, and yeah, then we've just gotta go buy some food. Kinda just get ready. Hope we're leaving, hopefully, tomorrow morning, first thing. As long as everything goes well today um, with Matt and Jeff. So yeah, we'll keep you posted on that, but that's hopefully the plan. And then it would have been a week today, a week last week that we flew in, so it's been a big week. I'm pretty exhausted. What do you want to know? <laughs> How you feeling? What do you think about it all? Good, good. I just, I think it'll be better once I'm out on the open road, when it's sort of going, but yeah, I just hope this old girl can go the distance. Mm. And get us the two and a half thousand to the pub. So I'm I'm confident it will, but you know, <laughs> be uh, be good to have a little backup crew. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I think we'd be right. I'm just gonna take it really easy. Just take it really easy with this old girl. What have we named it? We've named it Elsie. <laughs> it's a girl. We've named her Elsie. Um, spelled E L. S-I-E, mm -hmm. but the abbreviation sort of, you know, it's L-C, the letters L-C, Land Cruiser, L-C. <laughs> well, that was pretty good. Yeah. We did. So that's who it is now. It's got a name. Please get us back. <laughs> <laughs> Problem. If that doesn't work, then there's damage down there. Can I turn it off? Yeah, how's it look over there? There's a bit of a mess, or? Okay. Bit of a mess? That's pretty good. I mean, really good. Really, really good. <laughs> oh, mad scientist, this fella. Oh, if you ever need to take your sump plug out, after you've changed your oil and you don't want to waste your brand new oil that you've just put in, shove a vacuum cleaner <laughs> at the top of the engine. Oh, gosh. I'm curious as to this car's past life. I reckon it was probably used at some stage for a touring vehicle or I don't know, but say for example, the it's got these diff, diff breeders or home diff breeders, a bit of hose that just goes right up and out into the engine up here and yeah, it's just funny. So they've raised those. Only in this one. Yeah, well, yeah, the rear one a little bit. Oh, hello. How's our pantry looking? It's a bit jumbled. Pretty, <laughs> pretty chockers? Pretty chockers, and we don't have much food. <laughs> yeah, so Jeff had this old container that was just, um, he just had demineralized water in it um, that he used. Uh, and pretty much, yeah, just fried it, we put a bung in it, and we just put a hose clamp, an old piece of hose here, and I think it's what, 30 litres? I think it's like 30 litres, yeah. It'll be a really good amount actually. Yeah. It'll be easier to fill up than our other one in our ute. Good morning. <laughs> Time to go. Ah, let's do it. <laughs> Next episode, we start our long drive back across the country and spend our first few nights camped in Elsie. Ellis, find yourself a girl who's happy to drive a 38 year old Land Cruiser without power steering. Oh yeah. Right. Thanks for watching. Our next episode is already available for early viewing on our Patreon. To watch, all you need to do is join our OLT Patreon community. Cheers guys. <laughs>